All right. So what have we got? We got PHGMCB. That's the code for me. Uh, okay. We can take a gamble and do the greed build. Although I don't actually know how to do it. So I could do some sort of combo of it. Got some pretty cool stuff though. What's the build where you get this guy upgraded by level 3? I think it's better just to get two of them anyway. He might be able to clear level 1 just by himself. Even though Goblin Scientist is fine. I'm just thinking about the money I'm going to have. I don't think I actually send... I don't think I build another Wisp. Info 1. 119. So 120, 140. 170. If I send, like, a dino for level 2, I should be able to get a second Goblin Alchemist. Is that overkill? I'm going to just go with that. Wait, 190? I don't even have to send. So, if I won. Or you get a Goblin Scientist to be safe for level 1. And then do a send on level 2. Goblin Alchemist. Uh, it's not even bad, this unit, anyway. It's really good for sort of clearing up. I have prepared. If I send this, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have built, because I'm only going to get seven income with that. It's not going to be enough. Pretty sure I'm going to be like three gold shy. Feels it. I could sort of get by it though, just build a another goblin scientist or two, upgrade those, and then get the goblin alchemist, second one, by level 3. Because I think a couple of scientists would be good first as level 2 anyway, if I can't make the gold. Can't even do an extra peon. Oh, there we go. See, 100 cents, so I was a few gold shy. You can technically sell that, get another alchemist, but I think... How much are we going to get for this? Info 2, so 147 gold plus the 8, 155. So I need like 30 gold, 25 gold left over before I go into the next level. I mean, you could just do a Necromancer as well, but I'm thinking of the, the really early game. These Goblin Scientists are badass. Um, oh, bugger. Yeah, something's gone wrong here. Oh, I could, didn't build it quite quickly enough to upgrade. I might be okay, though. Yeah, not ideal. I kind of panicked a bit there. I forgot it takes 10 seconds for these things to build. But I think these are still so stupidly strong that I might be okay. Which means I actually might be able to get a 220 gold upgrade on this guy. But that's only going to be one unit that's tanking. We'll see how that goes. Looks like I was absolutely fine. Flamey. But I think it's still better to get two Goblin Alchemists than one Shredder. Even though the Shredder's nice to get, because he's super solid. Because then he's spare gold I've got left over can just go into Goblin Scientists. I'm gonna make them sweat, boys. Get them dino. That works for me. Job's done. A couple of these fellas, plus some dwarven engineers. Dwarven ingenuity. Hello. I'm prepared. I'm not going to try my luck with the orc war chief. Oh. It's a shame that he's built at the side, but it's probably the only way to get free without him dying. You're building like a Legion TD times 20 or something. Kind of looks a bit like that. We got the uh, fair bulg over there. Okay. 
<laughs> yes, I've played China Legion TD before. I think that was a couple of Legion TDs ago. Could have any stuck, I suppose. To steal your but there wouldn't be much to steal. Oh, Grizzly! Almost. These outcasts are tanking very well. I'm barely getting dented. Yeah, I'm worried about four. You're right. Alchemists are bad on four. It is what it is, though, yo. Necromancer and hope for the best. Hello. In fact, I'll probably get destroyed on four. It depends how quickly I can sort of kill it before it kills me. It's kind of the way to look at it. I hate building these type of things. Oh, they got light armor anyway. I'll we'll even get one more goblin scientist to be safe. WTII Tabaho 2, WTII remnant. Tabaho 2. Thank you very much for the sub. Let's see how we do versus the pigs. Kill them quick. Well, they can stack up on me. I think that's probably good enough. Hmm. How much to upgrade you? Yeah, I'll play it safe. We'll get our boy, Necrolite, who should be super good for level 5. I might just play Holder or something, at least until level 7 is passed. See if I can get these two upgraded by level 7. And then I'll easily have enough value for level 8, even if these have only got heavy armor versus level 8. I'm sure they'll be strong enough to still hold. And I can push after that. Hello. Our allies is under siege. Hmm. Nice privateers. Super good units. Super, super good. I can try and steal. I think you're not that dead, actually. Komodo's pretty good. Kind of. At least versus this level. So you got me all excited there, thinking I'm going to get gold. It's just messing with me. Yeah, it would be good. Upgrade, complete. Upgrade another one next turn, and Bob's your uncle. 15 out of 15 food. You get your value with the goblin scientist. Only costs one food. You can upgrade it to dwarven engineer, and it still doesn't cost more than one food and it's technically two run? units. Yes, Let's get to fighting. Our 
Right. Prepare yourselves. Let's go hard on them. Oh. Overclock likes these weird units. A small leak, but a leak nonetheless. Oh dear. I'm going to send an archer really. A bit worried for level 10 now. Is it worth the 20 gold just to make sure I definitely clear this level? In some ways, yes. In some ways, no. Hmm. I'm going to say no. I should have enough. How much more do you want from me? A little oracle. It's one little cheeky Mergle. Should destroy this level. Though. Destroy it. I'll get those farms ready, first of all. Oh, you cleared it as well. You cleared it quite easily. There's not even that much to clear out. Ha, ah, Overclock tried to steal. Privateers are so bloody good, man. Looks like I need more lumber. Getting a few plus sixes there, which is nice. Hello. They don't have immolation. It looks like they've got form now. The trolls are on the case. All together now. More lumber is required. 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 They're so close to holding that. My bidding. It has begun. Research complete and prepared. Damn. Damn. I can't even upgrade another Goblin Blast, so I've got loads of gold left over. What was my plan there? Couple of necromancers or something? Eh, or oh, maybe. Man, I don't want to sell two goblins just for it, but it might actually be worth it. They serve their purpose. That fits in nicely. And I don't have to get trash. I can do like a re-roll or something. And then I can start pushing. I'll feel more confident going into this level with a ghost. I'll feel more confident going into any level with a ghost. Shredders are getting a bit confused, but they've done a good job otherwise. Ooh, do I get to steal? I think we've got a steal coming. Huxy 40 was so invincible. 
I thought you'd do a bit better actually. You have medium armor and stuff. Yeah, it's time for re-roll. Yiggy! I guess I'll just get the half-breed for the aura. And then I can stick the uh, Yiggies in front. That'll work quite well with the ghost. I don't really have much damage or piercing damage, that kind of stuff, but I don't want to build a bunch of trash archers. What's Night Fox up to? He's playing his own game. A game of madness because he hasn't built a gyro or a Hades. This could be a reroll to be fair. Yeah, he's got Knight. Privateers. They'll be so good versus level 10 as well, won't they? I'm a wimp. I'm a wimp. Double in the armor. That piercing is going to be brutal versus level 10. Overclock's got a pretty nice build, to be fair, because you can build those afterwards, and even Griffins later on. Quite cool. I guess I'll save for the king in case we need it. I bid you. It's not that many sends, so privateers won't s waste that many shots. But that was an interesting point. Yeah, looks good. Looks good in the hood. A bit scuffed, the uh, split, but I'm still going to clear it. I could anti stack but I'll just let them go for him. Probably should have any start because I can guarantee to steal that. Now I've got to compete with the others. We'll see about that. We shall see about that. Don't let me down, boys! What are you doing? Go. No, that one... Oh, this one didn't go that time. Oh, I still nabbed it. Looks like their king's in a bit of a pickle, but it's clearing up the rest of the trash. Uh, send a commander, maybe. We're applying the pressure. We're applying the pressure hard here, which is good. Don't take anything for granted, because they can still have some sort of a sneaky plan. Don't know how many lives they lost. I assume it's two at least at this point in total. Maybe three. Oh, no yee for me. I am prepared. No one should be the wiser. I don't think we're going to win the uh, arena fight. I think they got a lot more ranged units. Take what you can, give nothing back. Jack, Jack, Jack. 
Oh yeah, they have got a really greedy push. Well, it's kind of averaged out. Night Fox needs to start pushing now. His filthy casual ways won't be uh, tolerated for much longer. We got a nice stack there. It actually does look good for us. I'm going to put that down to the privateers again with all their ranged attacks. It seems too good, to be honest. Having like five ranged shots on each one, minimum. More gold is required. Out with it. It has begun. Hmm. Bit of a weird one. I want to get a Yigi for next level. I'm going to get more than enough gold at the end of this, and I'm going to have, like, sort of still 70 gold left over or something. I'm going to have at least 100 gold left over, at least. I could get a Yigi and a Phantom or something. Town is under siege. Don't know. What does Overclocked think? Don't know, that's too ambitious. Something about a farm being upgraded or something. 4.20. Research complete. Hmm. Job's done. I mean, I should be able to push. Wow. Enlighten me. No one should be the wiser. For my brothers. I would think I can handle level twelve. Thy bidding. I don't mind the phantoms because they're like kind of good damage, but I can do good damage just by keeping the ghost alive because he's always doing that aura. So the, if I have the tankiest units possible, he's going to just do as much damage as the phantoms do, no problem. This guy Yuki taking one for the team. Level 13 could be nice. But sometimes it's a pushover anyway. If I leak, Huxley might be able to just steal it anyway. So, I don't think I'll push one more. I am prepared. That's a given. No one should be the wiser. Just put me on that awkward amount of gold again now. Or I can't really do anything for the next level. Search complete. It has begun. I think I'll take one for the team, guys. Like, I don't really want to build anything. No one should be the wiser. That's a given. For my brothers, no Plus, I might need to upgrade these as well by 17. It's, it's all a lot of money. I bid you. You guys have got some nice income for these levels. 
I'm still only at 31, despite the 7-6. It has begun. Our allies' town is under siege. I'm gonna laugh at level 13. We sure can, Hudson. Make sure to give a accurate vote for overclock. Exactly. See, level 13 is tough, but even if I leak, it's not going to be by much. And I'm not even 100% sure that's a leak. Oh, anti stuck players. If it is a leak, it's like it's so little that it's not worth building like that phantom necessarily. You can just take the kills. It's fine. They are kind of weak, 14, but it's a bit late to do much. Uh, I really want to get that. I'm forever at this like extra, like this 160-ish gold. It, it's trying to get me to build a phantom, but I'm saying no. I'm resisting. If we leak, I'll just plummet loads of wood into the king and then uh, have a cigarette and go to sleep. Plot twist, I don't actually smoke. Enlighten me. Weak on level 17, not really. Because I'm going to have mutants. I am prepared. You've clipped it to prove to everyone that I smoke. I'll always remember being at like a train station, or at least that's how I remember it. My memory's probably warped it somehow, but being stuck behind a guy who was smoking when I was like, I don't know, six, seven years old, pretty damn young, whatever it was, and I hated it. And from that moment on, I had a detestment of smoking. Imagine smoking there, seriously. Imagine paying money to kill yourself. All my brothers. <sighs> Their king is getting battered, which is good for us, because it just keeps applying pressure on them. And they haven't done like a big send yet. They, they're going to have to up the king with their lumber, so we can go hard on 16 or... Yeah, we could try. We can try it. Because that could still be good. If level 14 gave him trouble, level 15's got like um, normal damage. We don't normally do that, so it'll be interesting to see. 8, eight eating unhealthy food also paying to kill yourself. Yeah. Absolutely. There's loads of ways. Alcohol. There's all sorts of ways to pay to kill yourself. It's not just exclusive to smoking. Oh, the double yig. Finally. Some money is to spend. Job's done. Job's done. Do you think how many how many years of my life have I lost from the stress of playing four versus four R two? Oh, you're going with that boy. See, I can definitely do that, but I don't think I can do that and that. This does become available in 15 unless it's changed, doesn't it? Like, it's not going to debate me. Don't know where the corruption guy is. I'm not sure if this becomes available, so I'm just going to send. I don't trust it. Please send. Did it send or not? Oh, God, it didn't send. I don't know what happened there, to be honest. I felt like I sent that in time. At least I got the demon out. Wait, I didn't. 
Because <laughs> it didn't let me send a demon. I don't even know what happened there, to be honest. I'm pretty sure I sent that in time. I'm getting distracted by you guys in chat. Attacking me. Just because you, you smoke. Got a pretty good send, though. Search complete. I don't have a good hairline. I have a bad hairline. Wicked squirrel. I'm not 33. Nor am I 25 plus. Well, I am 25 plus. Above 25. I was born with a higher hairline, but because of that, people think I'm bold or don't have hair. But I actually do actually have hair. Believe it or not. I'm going to have hair for a while, because I've got hair basically exactly like my dad. His hairline's definitely gone up, but he's still got hair, and he's in his late 60s now. Because we basically have, like, identical hair. Like, the pictures of him as, he, as a kid, it's, it's almost like a mirror image of me. Or rather, I'm a mirror image of him. Damn. They cannot have another life after this, so it just comes down to whether these centaurs have enough juice in them to... I mean, the king has no mana. I think those centaurs are tanky enough. I'm pretty sure we got this. There's still the surround. He's not able to clear up enough here. The centaurs are having their way. Chugging on that king. Ah. Looks like that worked. Level 15. We'll take it. Overclocked with the highest score, which is the most confusing thing. It's those privateers, man. They're so OP. I got the most kills, though, didn't I? Apart from Kidson, but he would have got it from, like, other people leaking. GG! I'm at least 17 years old. <laughs> yeah. I'm at least 17 years old. Right. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the game. It's a bit harder to record Legion TDs these days. So thank you for the players that actually came in and helped us get a Legion TD recorded. Because we did two before this, but they were... It was both one-sided games. Like, the first game was one-sided for the enemy and then it was one sided for us the next game so I tried to at least this was a little bit more balanced this game a little bit more balanced